So what are we gonna record right now that we get to the house? Oh. What are we gonna record? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I still wanna make an omelet later. You wanna make it? We yeah. can record that. We can each make one omelet. We can compete. Yeah. Very good competition. Yeah. Right now. It's like nuts. I was gonna say, um, hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to today's YouTube channel. Um, Video. We're, today we're just gonna make an attempt at making omelets. Uh, we're just gonna see who makes the best one. Uh, we're not really chefs, cooks, five stars, whatever. Nothing. We're just out of the ordinary, guys. Trying to make some shit. Yeah, we're gonna be kind of competing to see who makes the best omelet. We kind of chose the same ingredients which we'll d describe and explain to you right now why we chose them or what we we're going for. So I'll let me start off with that. All right, so in mine, I'll make a three cheese omelet. <laughs> it's a, uh, so let me show you here. It's bacon, um, green bell peppers, tomatoes, uh, onion in there. There's ham, there's a uh, mot, there's Parmesan cheese and then some Monterey cheese in there. The third cheese, yeah, we don't know. We don't know, I just call it third, third cheese. Yeah, when, once he chose the cheese, I mean, I'm not a fan of cheese on my omelets, so I didn't pick it. Um, I went kind of similar to his. Um, I went with the green bell peppers, the tomatoes, the onions, the bacon, and a teaspoon of butter. Hopefully it's good. Um, tell us why, tell us why. Why those? Um, I chose that because back at GCU when I lived there, they used to make omelets for brunch or whatever, or breakfast. And I would go and I would get these ingredients and I love my omelets like that. We didn't have mushrooms, so I didn't put mushrooms or like other small ingredients, but that's about it. That's why I chose it. And well, obviously seasonings, but we'll get into that later whenever we actually put it. And we're obviously gonna use eggs for the omelet. Yeah, These eggs he surprised me with process. that ingredient. I wasn't gonna use eggs, but whatever, man. But okay, so we're gonna start off. We already, we cut everything up so we didn't waste time. We're gonna, we already preheated everything. Like, it's hot. And, you know, we're gonna get right to the needy greedy, all right? And if we do shit out of hand, you're not gonna see it. Yeah, so you guys can't see the pan, but it's down here. The, down there, oh, you see his is green you know is ready steaming is steaming and are you ready i think i'm ready hold up it went a little too all right we'll leave the light let's start off then so we're both gonna be cooking at the same time and we're kind of gonna go at the same no not the same pace but at our own pace so i'm gonna be cracking my three eggs can you pass me a fork yeah See, he, he's not prepared. I'm prepared, obviously. <laughs> you don't have one either. Yeah, but it's on my side, so I'm prepared. Or I'll just use yours, so I don't waste. Ah. Bro, I don't want to wash later. So how many eggs are you using, Luis? Tell the people. I'm using two, but I think I'm going to have to go for a third one now. Just a third one? Just to play safe. Just to play a hearty. All right, so I'm going to start off with some vegetable oil on the pan. You got shell in your bowl? Hell no, bro. I even cracked it with one hand. Shut the fuck. Like I said, if we do anything wrong while cooking, don't judge us because we're not professional chefs. Ooh, I like the whisk and this is doing. I There's the say. Whisk Master 3000 right here. I respect that, I respect that. I'm gonna be whisking with the pen just because it gives it a different style, a different taste to it. Um, I learned this back in high school sophomore year whenever I took culinary. Mr. McLean, you hated me, but I learned how to make fucking cereal. Just kidding. So, I'm waiting on Luis. You you know, get the right obviously, you gotta start off with putting everything on. That's how I'm gonna start off with. So I'm gonna start seasoning my stuff. Some black pepper. Luis is also gonna use this. You know, I'm seasoning it before just because, and then we already washed our hands, don't worry. I'm touching my food like this, so. I like my foods having a lot of pepper because it, it does add a different taste, some salt. You know, it'd be like salt bay. 
Hold on, let me put some in my hand. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, it's on my palm. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't do it, so I'll just do it like that. Um, but yeah, just a little bit of salt, not so much. Let me it up there. I'm over here beating the shit out of these eggs. All right, guys, I'm editing the video right now, uh, as you can see. Uh, and I just want to let you know, sorry, in advance for the crappy audio while we're cooking. So just stay tuned, uh, keep watching. Just try to hear us. Sorry. Yep. Oh, that's a smart move. That's that's a veteran move. It smells like hot yeah, like that. Mm, you can't see that shit with it. Oh, no, that's a good one. That's a good one. One hundred percent. I I believe in that. I'm putting a little bit more just because it looks a little bit coarse. A little bit more salt. You might be looking at me and saying, just putting too much seasoning. The salt barely comes out, so if anything, I'm putting a lot of pepper. Alright. A lot of pepper is in the vegetables now, guys. Oh my god, bro. I put it all in. Did I, did I mess up? I'm not gonna lie, coming into this little challenge, I was a bit scared to say the least. Knowing Lucy's background in cooking, <laughs> his mom cooks delicious meals. I remember when I would sleep over at Lucy's the next day. She would have a full course breakfast just waiting for us. Pancakes, eggs, bacon, juice. I'd be like, where the fuck did you get all this food from? Yeah, like the whole week, Louise didn't eat, but Friday night, going into Saturday, she freaking bought groceries. I don't know what she did, but Saturday morning, there was always food at the table. She was waiting for us. All right, I think my onions caramelized already. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, he's using language I don't even know. Bro, you gotta watch the Food Network channel. Like, that's a go to, bro. I watch MTV, bro. So, when you don't got cable, that's the only free channel. I don't know if my cooking smells good or if it's Luis's, but one of them smells good. And hopefully it's mine. Right. You gotta <clears throat> fan it out a little bit. Let me see the whisk mess. Oh my god. I don't want yours and mine. <laughs> oh my god. Obviously we have three diff two different strategies here. Reese is doing his, I'm doing mine, how I think it sh how I think it goes. I've never cooked an omelet. If you do it a different way, you suck. No, if you do it a different way, let us know, comment down below. Cause honestly I wasn't a big fan of beating eggs when I was little. What'd you beat? Come on. What? what did you say? <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't like eating eggs a lot, so I would eat cereal, anything else. But as I grew older, eggs are pretty good for you, so I started eating them. You ready? Honestly, I'm. Base. I'm just waiting for him to say, "Oh my god." I I see what Lisa's going for right now. I see what he's going for. But see, I don't know, man. I should have paid attention to my mom's kitchen. Because Luis was obviously taking notes when his mom was cooking. Bro, hold up. Let me see y'all. Yeah. All right, so this one's mine. You know, it's a little bit coarse. That one's Luis's right now. That's his. And he's putting more. Oh, mozzarella. The three cheeses. And we about to... You better continue. Hold on, let me fix it a little bit more. All right. Welcome to the party, you are. Yeah. Our roommate, Eric, you rock. He's, He's also going to be making his own omelet. Show him your omelet, you rock. <laughs> he did it earlier today while we we're out. So I ain't tripping. Now I'm adding all my vegetables back in with all the meats. I'm gonna move it around. I like Reese's technique. Yo, that looks professional, bro. Mine looks like <clears throat> gold. <laughs> I like your pan though a lot. All right. Are, like are we gonna go for the, for the flip like that? 
I don't know, man. If you're <laughs> confident enough in your abilities to cook an omelet, go ahead. I don't even know if man can make omelets. You guys always say I'm a fucking rat. Oh, I think I could kick on with all this. Have you not seen Ratatouille? A rat that had to survive. Bro, we just said your mom would, would always cook. What do you mean? <laughs> I know, bro. You come home and you have food waiting for you in your room. Oh my god. I'm just getting full wrist action. Aren't you guys supposed to like flip it or something? Chill, bro. Hey, that's what I was expecting. Now you see? Oh. Mine looks more like an omelet now. Oh, flip mine is gonna be burnt, I suppose. It's not ready. You ready to try? A little bit. Huh? You ready to try? Oh, sure. Like, like, mm -hmm. see guys, like what I'm doing is I'm folding mine first and then I'm gonna flip it. Oh, okay. I'm gonna flip, flip and then fold, I'm guessing? Yeah, mine was a more difficult technique. I don't know why I went for it. I was feeling a bit risky, which is why I was struggling to get it. But right now, right now, you know, we about to add the... Paprika? Nice. It's pepper. <laughs> we already told them what we're adding. Oh. <laughs> Salt. All right, let's see the flip. <laughs> Our cameraman's like half gone. <laughs> I, got, I got one pizza on my hand right now. I'm never gonna... Oh, Brandon just went for it. Oh shit, sorry. Yeah, you're gonna see it. It looks, oh. like, a, it looks like that Taco Bell thing that they serve. The uh, chalupa? Yeah, the chalupa. The, the one in the breakfast? Alright, let's see Lucy's flip. Oh, this, it's not gonna flip. I told it's you. It's not flipping. When, see, just get the whole fucking pan and just flip it. Y'all ready? Oh, <laughs> this man made a big ass mess. Wait, wait. All right, so guys, I think I'm done with my omelet. Side it's looking a little bit like this. this. It's about to burn. This one looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of intimidated. All right, guys, you'll see the final result right now. Take it out. Always add ranch to your pizza. Okay, so this is Brandon's. Um, I mean, it's all, it's not all, it's not the best, but hey, but maybe the taste is there. Hey, it's not about looks. It's and about this taste. is mine. Golden brown looks like a fucking pancake. I was gonna call it a pancake. Hey, Eric. Hi, <laughs> right, hello, judges. So today we have Lara and Iraq trying our our you know, omelets or attempted omelets. And for my omelet, which is on the right, um, I put bacon, green bell peppers, tomatoes, onions, and then salt and pepper, and then obviously eggs. Go ahead, try it. Wait, 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 you have to, oh, okay. No, they can't try it first. You guys can try any piece. They don't look too excited about this. Look at their faces, they're ready. <laughs> they don't know what part to enjoy first. So York is dipping it in the in the ketchup. Lada's face does not seem really happy to try it. You think the ketchup's it. a good move, Brandon, or no? You know what? It might add the difference just because He's egg does go with What's in ketchup. It? What's in it? Bell peppers, bacon, tomato, and onions, and then salt and pepper. This is good. That's good. All right, simple answers. We're right. their final decision is yet to be made. The next one up, this Hold one right up. here, is the one I made. It's a Which three really cheese perfect. omelet. So, what's in it is uh, eggs, Parmesan cheese, uh, Monterey cheese, uh, onions, tomatoes, green bell peppers, ham, and bacon. I'm gonna have the shits. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be shy, put some more. I think this one tastes more like an omelet. All right, relax. Keep your final answers till the end, please. Oh. Yes. How about the bread? You think I, the bread is complimentary? I, oh my god. The bread? <laughs> wow. Hey, I heard the bread makes or breaks an omelet. <laughs> I've never had bread this good before. Really? It's bimbo. Nothing. <laughs>
All right, we'll give you guys 10 seconds to deliberate on which one is best. There it is. We have one more judge. You know, late running. This is a, a good five-star judge. He's yeah, he's been a chef before and a very well-known restaurant. We're not going to tell you who this is, so you have no bias. Yeah, that's right. I'll just go, go ahead. All right, he's trying the first one with a little bit of ketchup. <clears throat> All right. all right, one more veggie. Final comments to the end, mm. all right? Right now, just- Could use a little salt, but it was very well. Nice and fluffy, it wasn't all gooey. All right. Let's try this one. Oh, this one's meaty. Goes in, chews, who deliberates. I like the meat one. Mm. Got some cheese too, huh? Or yeah. more cheese. So, final decision? I gotta go with the meat. Yes! <laughs> yeah, that was very good, but bacon is bacon. <laughs> so, guys, uh, our first judges, Lada and Eric, did split decision. Who was the meat? We didn't what? show it, but oh, I won. Nice. Jesse counted me the winner. <laughs> Woo! This is the winner. That was a tiebreaker. Yeah. <laughs> so now we get to eat. Brandon, how do you feel about that? Oh. About that loss? You enjoyed yours? That's all that matters, right? I like mine. <laughs>